Hello everyone, welcome back to the 4Play channel. It's Bella. I'm Jace. Before we get into today's video, make sure to leave this video a like. It really, really helps us out. Subscribe so you never miss me post a video, and then leave a comment if you guys have any questions about this video once it's over, or if there's any videos you want to see from us in the future. <laughs> Today's video is going to be about how to handle jealousy in the swinging lifestyle. We really wanted to make this video because I feel like it's one of the questions we get asked the most constantly is how to deal with it. Our first step is to work on self-love. We know it sounds super cheesy, the whole self-love idea, but for us and speaking from our experience and how we've dealt with it, finding that self-love is the most important step. Whenever you are not confident in yourself and you feel insecure in yourself, it makes you question your own self and it can create that jealousy because you're worried about what if my partner thinks this person is better looking than me or what if my partner thinks they do something better than me. But when you truly know yourself and you truly love yourself, those thoughts start to kind of fade away. Theodore Roosevelt said that comparison is the thief of joy and we think it's one of the most true quotes that we have ever heard. If you are comparing yourself to anybody else, you are never going to have success in life. And that doesn't just for the lifestyle, that is for anything in life. So definitely, definitely let go of the comparisons and find that self-love. Self-love comes from a place where you have to already know that you are enough as you are right now. And to know that you've already always been enough. It's hard at first, but it is something that you just truly have to believe in yourself and you just have to truly just know that. And it's kind of a flip of a switch that you have to do. This is something that we did as well. Back before we felt very confident in our own selves and before we really truly loved our own selves, it was more a, hey, you know what? I am enough. And once we realized that and once we did flip that switch, it really helped with jealousy. Once you feel like you kind of have a handle on that self-love and you're feeling good about that, our next biggest tip is to start working on your relationship and the trust that you have in that relationship. Not only do you have to be confident in yourself, when you're confident in your relationship, it's going to diminish that jealousy. You're not going to have things that you really are going to be jealous about because you know yourself and you know your partner and you know your relationship together. One of the biggest ways to start working on that trust is learning how to communicate. You also need to make sure that you guys are talking in a very safe place because we feel like once you're able to truly tell your partner how you feel and feel safe, that's when you started to feel that jealousy diminish. Make sure you're working on building that trust. You really should be able to completely trust and be honest with your partner, especially when you're doing something as intimate as sharing each other sexually, right? So make sure you work on that trust and make sure you work on that honesty. You also wanna make sure you guys know that you see each other in a different way than you see anybody else. So you and your partner have love for each other. You guys are going to see each other as the most beautiful, as the most attractive, Whenever you guys have sex, that's making love. It's different than if you were to play with other people. So whenever you know that you see your partner in a different way, you don't compare yourself and your relationship to other potential play partners because it doesn't even compare. It's on two completely different planes. And so whenever you are able to separate that, it's harder to have that jealousy because it's so different. If you are a reader or an audiobook type person, there's three books that we really feel like help in all of these categories. One is called Getting to Yes, and we'll have all these linked down below. But Getting to Yes is a book that's all about technically negotiation, but it teaches you a lot of basic communication skills and really gets into active listening and a bunch of different things that are gonna help you communicate really well. There's a book called You Are a Badass, that book is going to help with your self-confidence overall, which we've talked about earlier, but it's gonna help you realize that self-love is the most important part when it comes to trying to learn how to melt away that jealousy. The last book that we're gonna recommend is called The Four Agreement. I think it's one of the most important books that either one of us has ever read, but there's a thing in there that talks about don't take anything personally, which we think is a huge component to being able to love yourself and not feel like you're being judged because you truly come from a place of self-love. We'll have all those books linked below, but if you're looking for a little bit more extra reading outside of this video, we definitely highly recommend them all. This next tip kind of falls into what we were just talking about, but once you have that trust and honesty in your relationship, you should be able to freely talk about what's going on, what is really causing that jealousy. If something happens that does make you jealous, you need to be comfortable enough with your partner to really talk Talk about it why you're jealous and work on what the root cause of that is typically it has something to do with an insecurity within ourselves and again that goes back to self-love working on being confident in yourself another thing is maybe you guys had a rule and maybe that rule got broken or maybe somebody thought that they broke the rule whereas the other partner thought that they didn't break a rule so just make sure that you're able to openly 
communicate again in a safe and judgment free environment where you can talk to each other without escalating things and getting angry at each other. Kind of on what Bella said, maybe you guys had a rule and no one broke it, but then after seeing something, you realized that you didn't like it and you felt jealousy in that moment. That's okay because we all know that jealousy is a normal emotion, but that's when you have to be able to have that communication and be able to talk because once you're able to talk to those things and figure out really what that root cause of it is, you're able to either fix that rule, change that rule, or maybe you guys need to create a new rule and then this is something that you're going to incorporate in your relationship or in your lifestyle journey that's going to help you avoid problems like that in the future. We also get so caught up in our head all the time and maybe we think we have a character flaw and a lot of times I feel like from our experience, what we feel bad about ourselves, our partners love in us. And so being able to talk about those things openly and freely can, can even help in that first step that we talked about of giving you even more self-confidence. So being able to communicate in this open way is going to help you guys together and individually. Another thing that really helped us is we have to make sure that we truly are believing what our partner says. So for example, say we were in a play situation and then I see Jace finish with another woman. And for, to me, I think it looks like he enjoyed that finishing time <laughs> more than he ever has with me. And that's just in my head. And then I talk to Jace about it and Jace is like, no, of course not. Like that's not anything that happened. You might've just perceived it that way, but like, I promise you that's not what it was. And in the past, before we got to this place of no jealousy at all, I would have thought, well, no, I just don't believe in like, I saw it, I know how you felt, but then I don't really know because he's, the one feeling it. And so whenever you are truly believing what your partner says, it's really going to help diminish that jealousy. And we made a rule for ourselves that we are not allowed to lie. And that way we know we can actually trust what the other person is saying because we believe with everything in our relationship, our partner is telling us the truth and we take that as the truth and we move forward. Just remember that jealousy is a normal emotion. It's totally normal for you to feel like you're completely over it. And then one day maybe something happens and you feel it and you're able to eliminate it again. But just remember that we're all going to deal with jealousy at different points in our life. And that's totally normal. Also remember, do not get frustrated at yourself. If you do feel it, if you feel like, Hey, I'm over jealousy. And then one day you experience it again, don't feel like upset at yourself for feeling that let go of it and be able to talk about your partner and move forward and don't get hung up on those things because getting hung up on it can definitely kind of make you spiral and overthink and overthink and overthinking is the worst for this. So don't get mad at yourself. Just move forward if you do experience it again. And it's okay for it to be difficult to overcome this jealousy. This is going to be something that you are going to have to work through and something that you have to work on. Again, it's a completely normal emotion to have. It's something that happens all the time. And as long as you're able to talk through it and work on it to try to get past it and grow together as a couple, that is going to help you, not only your relationship together, but your journey in the lifestyle as well. And remember the last thing is at the end of the day, it's all about you and your partner. It's all about you guys being together. You have each other. It's all about having fun. So just keep communicating. Just keep working through it. And with time, it'll get easier and easier. And I remember all of us can do it. We all deal with it. You guys can get over it together. You can work through it together and your lifestyle journey can be really amazing. Hopefully all these tips helped you on your journey and about how to work on jealousy in the swinging lifestyle. Make sure to leave a comment and you have any other tips about jealousy or maybe you want to share a story about a time you experienced jealousy in the lifestyle with the community and how you guys were able to work past it and make sure to subscribe it's free to you and you'll get notified every time that we upload a new video and make sure to like the video as well it really helps us out and we will see you in the next one bye, bye.